Hello, this is Mike Queen again from WinCNC, and I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to set the resolution on a machine running WinCNC. I have messed up my resolution intentionally on my machine so that it will not move the correct distance when I tell it to. I have turned my laser on. and I have lined it up on the one inch mark on two tapes and what I intend to do is move it 20 inches I'm, first I'm going to command it to move 20 inches and it will move what it thinks is 20 inches and then I will go ahead and move it the distance that it has to go and then calculate what needs to be set and set that in WinCNC in the WinCNC.ini file. And then the resolution should be correct on the x-axis. I could do this by using a bit, but it doesn't show up very well in the camera, so I thought that I'd go ahead and just use my laser. I hope this works well enough for you to see what's going on. So as you can see here, I have set X to 0 and I have lined the laser up on the 1 on both of these tapes. I don't have to do two tapes. This is more for the benefit of the video. So the first thing that I need to do now is command X to move to move 20 inches. So I just type X 20 and hit enter. It will move what it thinks is 20 inches. But as you can see in the video with the camera here, it moved about six inches. So what I really need to do is disable my soft limit up here because I'm going to move more than the 24 inches according to this that my machine can move. I have limits set up at 24 inches wide because that's really how wide my table is. And I am going to manually move the machine until it has actually moved 20 inches. I'm going to stop on the 21 inch line. And I've moved a little too far, so I need to come back. Still a little far. And that is pretty much dead on. There and there. So now I know that I have moved actually 20 inches. So I'll come to here and I it says that I've moved 81.354. So that's my commanded distance and I've actually moved 20 inches. So 81.354. I want to pull a calculator up here. And I want to type my commanded distance, 81.354. And I want to divide that by the actual distance that I move, which is 20 inches. And I want to multiply that by the resolution, the current R value on the axis spec line for the axis that I'm trying to calculate the resolution for. So that's 2000 times 2000 equals. And there I've got two or 8135.4. So I'll just copy that 
and I'll come over here and I will replace this 2000 with that number. And I'll save it. And what I've got to do now is come back over and I'm going to move X back to zero because I want it to be lined back up on that one inch mark again. And if I do it, if I restart the software, I've got to restart the software for the change that I made to take effect in the WinCNC.ini file. Uh, the change that I made in the WinCNC.ini file for it to take effect, I've got to restart WinCNC. But if I restart WinCNC without moving back, then I've lost my position on my machine. So I'm going to go X, 0, and it will slowly move back over. And now it's right back on the one inch mark again. So now I can shut WinCNC down, make sure that I've saved this file. Back in the WinCNC folder, and I'll restart WinCNC. And now, when I command, and by the way, I'll turn my laser back on so that you can see the laser. Now, when I command X20, I'm thinking that it's going to move out to that 21 inch mark. And it's going to do it much faster than it moved last time. So I'll go X. 20 and enter. And if we look, we're dead on the mark here and we're dead on the mark there. So we've got our resolution set correctly. If I tell it X10, And hit enter. It should be on the 11 inch mark. And it is, and it is. So our resolution is set correctly, and that's all it took. As I said, we could use a tool to do this with. Uh, in the spindle, I could use. A tool like this, where you can actually see it. I can use a tool like that and point it right at the mark, lift it up, and move out, and then go back down and touch. But that was hard to see with the camera, so I decided to do it this way. Anyway, that's how you set the resolution. If it's not exactly perfect, you run it again. You would move it back and do your 20 inch move or your 40 inch move, whatever you've got on your table, and set the resolution again uh, the same way. We would, uh, if we were at 19 and we wanted to move to 21, we'd move to 21, then we'd take the number that was up here on the screen, we would use that as our commanded distance. We would divide that by the actual distance, which in our case is 20 inches. And we would come out with a number. We would multiply that by the current resolution on the axis that we're working on. In this case, it would be this number right here. And we would come out with a new number for right here. This is the resolution. This is how many steps per inch. In my case, if you were working in millimeters, it would be steps or pulses per millimeter. I think that will 
do for this video. Thank you for watching.